On today's Worldwide Food Guide, I explore Western fast food in Japan. I went to four different fast food restaurants located all around Japan, trying out some of the unique items to the country as well as some staples, seeing how well they stack up to their American counterpart. Enough about me and more about this food. So for our first stop, we went to Wendy's. Wendy's in Japan merged with a restaurant called First Kitchen, so it's more or less the same, just a couple extra items. We went at eight in the morning. I didn't want to try a bunch of burgers. While there were like some unique items like the Garako or seasonal burger, they had an extensive menu. I decided just to get some breakfast, but for the restaurant itself, it was really cool. It was three floors. We ate on the second floor. We just got two breakfast sandwich meals, one with bacon and one with sausage. Ohio gozaimasu. We are here at Wendy's First Kitchen. We did not get anything particularly different. We're trying to compare Western food to Japanese Western food. Hash brown. And we got the sausage and bacon sandwiches. As I can see, the cheese isn't as melted. Eat it like you like. Nice. I thought over here in Wendy's breakfast isn't really that different. And we have like five items, but for lunch they do have like different burgers. Most places in Japan don't open till like 10 or 11, so fast food is one of the few places that are open this early. And it was relatively cheap. A decent sized sandwich. It only comes with <laughs> hash brown squares. Y'all comment down below, what are some cool, unique food items that y'all have had in other countries? I'm interested to see. Pretty good. Pretty good breakfast, but it's fast food. Not bad, though. Wendy's is Wendy's. That's our first stop. Can't wait to eat time more fast food restaurants. Enough about me and more about this food. For our second stop, we went to McDonald's. Immediately, I noticed a big sandwich. It is called like the Mega Muffin. I had to get it, and for what it's worth, it was actually a really good sandwich for the price. It had the extra sausage patty. I mean, it's McDonald's. The sandwich had ketchup on it. Eli also got the seasonal Garako sandwiches. More on that later. It was just a little quick breakfast. The Mega Muffin, they need to bring that to the States. I would buy that if I went to McDonald's. But without further ado, Ah uh, man, on another installment of the Worldwide Food Guide, trying Western fast food here in Japan, McDonald's, I'm loving it, and the Colonel. Fun fact about Japan here is they love KFC, they love the Colonel actually, and they love it so much that on Christmas, Japan celebrates Christmas in a different way. Tradition here in Japan is family orders fried chicken for Christmas. So like KFC actually has a Christmas platter like with different dishes and Christmas souvenirs each year. You got to fill it out, pre-order it, so I couldn't get it, but apparently that is a KFC Japan exclusive. Regardless, let's get started. There's a choco pie. I don't think we can get this in the States. Hmm. Oh, yeah. I don't know what the hell this is. Apparently it's a sandwich. It's a chicken sandwich, but there's like a filet that's filled with like cheese or sauce or something. And I know damn well we can't get that in the States. Looks freaking amazing. So for reference. These are the, the cider fries with the family meal. <laughs> Not gonna lie, the fries in the States are better. They're like saltier, crunchier. So here in Japan, the biscuit is like this. It smells like really sweet. They taped a little honey. And of course, not that this is really a Japan exclusive, but we're fat, KFC, six piece. My man, Mickey D. Eli picked all these out. I would have got more, but brown wrapper. Mm, wait, the f Eli. I just saw, I just saw four. Okay, so big mistake here, but Eli got me a regular Degler Big Mac, but they do here in Japan have, it's like a super Big Mac with like two extra patties, but I don't really think that's special per se. You can make that in the States, you can just custom order that. I haven't had a Big Mac in forever. Looks about the same. That's a Big Mac. I don't really care for Big Macs. Now, I remember when the first time I came to Japan, and me and Eli were floored. I had a shrimp filet burger, and I've been craving it ever since when I got back to the States. It's a holiday-only item here in Japan. Kind of similar to the one we had a couple of days earlier. Mm -hmm. Gosh, I do love the shrimp patty. Mm. It's good. The sauce is bold. They shouldn't bring that to the States, but the shrimp patty. I'm going to say it, the fish filet blows. Bring the shrimp patty. It'll do blusters. While we're on the subject of sandwiches, though, time to try this KFC sandwich. Had my eye. <laughs> oh, man. I'm excited for this one. It is a chicken sandwich. There's, just, there's the uh, chicken patty right there on top. This is filled with something. Holy sh**. Yeah, so you got the chicken right here and whatever the hell this thing is. I think it's filled with cheese, but itadakimasu. <laughs> 
Holy sheesh. Oh my god. I guess it is cheese for like the curry. I'm getting like chicken parm vibes. Cheese. Oh my god. I'm rocking with this one right here. I don't even want to share this with you. Like, damn. They need to bring this to the States. That is food guide approved. You come to Japan and get this freaking delicious sandwich. I want to take a bite of this buttery donut hole. Looks kind of erotic. Don't taste like nothing, honestly. And again, no, KFC biscuits like dry, right? I know Popeyes is, but like KFC too. It's not like a, like a weird, like the dough. This one's like actually softer. Like the biscuit dough is like really fluffy, like really soft. Here, I'm gonna try it with some honey. There we go. Oh, oh yeah, with the honey. Biscuit, not bad. Now, finally, the kernel. Wonder what the nutrition facts say. Who cares? It's finger looking good. Ah, yes. Even in Japan, it is greasy, it is delicious, it is amazing. If I'm not mistaken, you can't get extra crispy here in Japan. They don't do extra crispy. That's something like the States have. It's chicken. It's fried chicken. Uh, that's it. I just, like, I just like chicken. I mean, KFC chicken is KFC chicken. I'm getting the herbs and spices and all that BS. Looks weird. A little foot. Chicken's chicken. Yeah, that put me on game. Put some honey on the chicken. Mmm. Actually, no. It's chocolate pie. This abomination of a choco pie. This looks dry. It looks really dry. No, oh, a lot of chocolate chip bits in there. It's actually really good. Flaky. Mmm. Get this boy some milk. Rich chocolate taste. Yeah, I like that. They need to bring that chocolate pie too. I will go back to McDonald's guys. I know there's like a, a teriyaki burger, a salmon burger, more shrimp burger. Yeah, a lot of good food items though. A sandwich, a chocolate pie, the shrimp burger are items that I wish they would bring to the States. Let's keep this rolling. Enough about me and more about this food. All right guys, we got McDonald's again. Anyway, first one, holiday theme McFlurry, salty caramel pretzel, Sign me the hell up. Beef stew pie. The teriyaki burger. The teriyaki chicken. Love the purple. Let's try this food. As I said it before in, earlier in the video, McDonald's also has like their night menu. Apparently they got like double the portions so like a, a super Big Mac with like double the patties, a super McChicken, super quarter pounder. Here's how you know Japan McDonald's is actually better than their McFlurry machine actually works. This is salted caramel pretzel. Mmm. Mmm. Crunch. Mmm. Loving that crunch. Mmm. On the 12th day of Christmas, McDonald's gave to me diabetes. Mmm. That slaps. I wish it had a bigger size. Mmm. McDonald's in America. Mmm. Mmm. Even like... Like, usually pretzels and ice cream get, like, soggy. These are, like, crunchy. Looking all crazy. This is the... Mm. Beef stew pie. Your typical pie. Kind of tastes like curry. Oh, this is awesome. This is certified. Another thing I wish I had in the States. I'd probably go back to eating McDonald's again. What's crazy is what? I haven't had McDonald's in how long? Man, I haven't had McDonald's in over a year. In Japan out here making me refeed my addiction. Mm. Teriyaki burger. They globbed it with the, the sauce. Single patty. That's my pants right now. Teriyaki, but it's not really pairing well with this this thin patty. It's like mayonnaise, so they got mayonnaise in here. Mm, that one's okay. It's good, it's just not amazing. I would never get that they brought it to the States. Last on our agenda, the chicken teriyaki. And boy, this thing, say it with me, dummy thick. So good. This one though. I think because the patty was so thin on the burger, sauce is overwhelming. This chicken is thick, so it's not as uh, overwhelming on the teriyaki. Mayonnaise is pairing well this time. Mm -hmm. Japan has been amazing, delicious food. If you're watching this, I got other shorts about what I ate in a day in Japan that wasn't fast food. Check those out, but man, chicken teriyaki sandwich. <sighs> man, they need to bring that to the States. Mm -hmm. All right, guys, that's it for the McDonald's different items, but um, I got a treat for y'all in the morning, an American staple here in Japan with unique flavors. I'll see y'all manana. Enough about me and more about this food. 
Oh, yes, guys. It is breakfast time. I have secured the bag and the box. One thing I've noticed here in Japan is uh, they love their Krispy Kreme. I had to go there and see what unique donuts they had, which flavors that I can't get in the States. This is... So we got the creme brulee right here, the matcha donut. It looks good, it's like a matcha cake. You got a Santa, which I'm not surprised that they have this in the States. You got a pistachio, which I don't think we have those in the States. A caramel bear, I think. Creme brulee custard, which I don't think we have. This is my last day here, unfortunately. I'm so sad. All of this delicious food. And of course, the last thing I eat is Krispy Kreme donuts. I wanna try the, the matcha. Yep, very cakey. It's not a matcha, it's actually Uji green tea donut, which I definitely know we don't have in the States. Mm -mm -mm. That boy needs some milk. Definitely getting the tea. It's not overly sweet, it's actually really good. Fun fact about me, guys, before I'm out here reviewing food, I used to actually work at Krispy Kreme with a small stint, and I can tell you right now, it's probably one of the worst jobs I ever had in my life. You meet some of the worst walks of life wanting some donuts. That's the reason why I'm very respectful to workers and people who work in restaurants, and we just appreciate food and all things food. Let me try the pistachio. I love pistachio. Mm. 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 <laughs> I love the icing or the cream they use here. It's so good. Like. The pistachio icing, it's really good. With their donuts, they're not like really heavy oiled base, so that's good. Pistachio, come to the States. All right, creme brulee. This one looks disgustingly unhealthy. <laughs> that's the apple. Oh my gosh, that's amazing. Gotta get to the kuma. <laughs> like a caramel flavor. Kuma, kuma. Yeah, I don't care for this one. I've never been a fan of their cream jelly filled donuts, even in the States. It's okay. I don't even care for that one. Eli told me to try again, this time with the filling. Um, they already do It's like a mocha caramel. I'm definitely tasting the mocha. Yeah, if you like mocha caramel, it's a vibe. It's still not my favorite. I got a love-hate relationship with custard, but creme brulee custard. Bro, you find it in a creme brulee. <laughs> mm. Custard one's the one. Now we got Santa. Look at the jelly. Oh man, I love the jelly and the custard. Very subtle. It's so good, the jelly. I don't really care for like Krispy Kreme, especially after I work there. The Uji green tea, the pistachio, this one is just so creamy and in the donut. These donuts can deck my halls. These donuts are the spot. Mm -hmm. All the Western food I've had in Japan, as far as differences go, there's a ton of unique experiences. I don't eat fast food anymore, unfortunately. Oh no, fortunately. I'm glad I was able to spread it out throughout the days. I don't want y'all thinking I was just eating American fast food here in Japan the whole time. Check out my shorts, check out my other videos, check out the playlist right here. And if you like this kind of content, subscribe to the channel. As always guys, I'm the Worldwide Food Guy and your food guide. Enough about me and more about this food. Peace.